Hey what's up guys my name is Pavindu from PNP Tutorials and you are watching the PNP Tutorials channel and in this video we are going to talk about how we can perform the fake access point attack. So the idea here is that if you want to attack a particular router let's say I have this router and I want to attack on it then I will create another fake access point and I will try the clients connected to that Wi-Fi router to connect to my fake router as soon as they will try to connect with my router they will be asked to enter a password and when they will enter the password on this fake AP then that password will be sniffed by us. Just remember one thing, I am performing this attack on my Wi-Fi router. You don't have to try this against any other Wi-Fi router. This video is just for educational purposes only. So let's get into it. First thing first, we will go to the github.com and here is the Fluxion tool. So now what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna copy the code. I will clone that directory and this will be cloned in Fluxion directory. Once the cloning is done, let's go inside the Fluxion directory. And here you can see guys, we have a file called Fluxion.sh. We will simply have to run this file. Fluxion tool will try to install a couple of tools. If you are not able to install them, then run it like sudo Fluxion.sh space hyphen i. Now I want to continue in English, so I will press 5. Now here we have two attacks. First thing is the evil twin access point attack and second thing is to capture the handshake. In the previous video I have told you how you can capture the handshake. So I will use that handshake to perform the evil twin access point attack. I'll press 1. And here you can see guys we are getting a couple of options whether we want to try on all the channels or we want to try on a specific channel. So I'll press 4 that I want to go ahead and try on specific channel. The single channel is 6, I'll press 6 and go ahead. Now here it will find out all the routers that are running on the channel 6. So here you can see there is a router HRIDA and that is running on channel 6. So I'll press Ctrl C here. Now here you can see I'll have to press 1 in order to attack on this router. Now I'll use the interface WLAN 0 and I'm using TP-Link 722N which supports only 2.4 GHz frequency. Press 1, press 2. Now this is asking for the method of deauthentication. I'll press 2 here. What kind of attack you want to perform, whether you want to go with host APD or Airbase NG. So I'll go ahead with the recommended one, so I'll press 1. Now I have two options over here. First is Kaupeti, second one is Aircrack NG, so I'll press 1. Now here it is asking me to enter the path of the handshake file which we have captured in the previous video. So what I'll do is I'll enter that path and here is the handshake location and handshake file where my handshake is already captured. Now there are two things that you can perform. First thing is aircrack ng verification. So when the client will enter the password, it will verify with aircrack ng or the cowpatty. So here it is saying Second one, Kaupati is recommended for performing the verification. So let's press 2 here and go ahead. Now here you can see the path of the handshake file that we have provided. It has verified that as a valid handshake. Here it is asking us for the captive portal settings. Create an SSL certificate. It has created it. And I would say it should be disconnected. As soon as you will choose the language, you will get to see all those terminals over here. You need to understand what those terminals are doing. So first thing first, this is the AP Jammer service. What it is doing, it is disconnecting all the clients connected to the original router over here. It is sending the deauthentication packets and here is the fake access point terminal. We have created one fake access point which is RIDA and it will show us if there will be a client connected to it and if they will try to enter the password. Here is the Flexion web service and here is the DNS service. So as soon as a client will connect to this RIDA router, you will be able to see some DNS movement over here. 
Now, as soon as I will connect to the fake access point or any of the victim will connect to the fake access point, I will be sent to a page and there I need to enter my password. And as soon as that victim will enter the password, we will get the password by sniffing and that's how we can get the password. I cannot show you the demonstration of that particular thing because this is the YouTube video and it is not really legal to do everything in the YouTube video. Now the question comes how you can safeguard from this attack. Let's say if somebody have kicked you off from your router and when you are connected to the fake AP or to your original router then you need to make sure that your router will not ask the password again and you don't have to enter that password anywhere on the captive portal. If you just follow that simple instruction you can safeguard yourself from this particular attack. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. There are many more videos about to come. Thank you. I will see you in the next one.